I was uh, born in 1962 in a small town called Stratford. It was a, it was a Christian background. I can remember uh, being told as a child just to stay away from a certain shop because of the tendencies of uh, a certain man in the shop. Uh, when I was 21, I got a job at the Toll Exchange. Oh, the Toll Exchange was the perfect place for me to come to in Wellington. I went wild. Um, my tutor showed me the nightlife. He took me to the uh, only gay spot in town and abandoned me in the middle of the floor as fresh meat. So I certainly learned very quickly um, how exciting it could be. And I took every advantage of it, to be honest with you. At 21, the world was my oyster. I remember seeing something about HIV on television. And uh, it was pretty frightening, actually. It was in America, and people were wearing masks. Um, there was still no real idea of transmission of anything like that. And that fear did permeate some of the community here in Wellington, but it was something over there. I remember in the early 80s waking up in someone's bed next to him fast asleep and I was freezing and wet through, just saturated with a night sweat, something that I'd never had before in my life. It scared the hell out of me. I went to my doctor almost immediately and said, you know, something's wrong. When it was confirmed, not nice. I actually wasn't ready for it at all. I didn't realise I, I wasn't ready for it. Um, I rang my boyfriend at the time and said, I think you better come home and have a talk. And he said, I don't want to see you again and hung up. And um, I spent 10 years in a daze, basically. I went through all those emotions that you normally get. You know, the anger, the blame. Now, People aren't dying, no, that's great. But it's not exactly a life you want, I can tell you now. There are many things you can't do now. Things that you don't expect, like you can't go to the United States, so goodbye Disneyland. That was one of my biggest wishes, was to actually see Disneyland before, before it all happens. It ruins any chances you feel you have. You have to start again. And that's what I'm doing, starting again. Why the hell would you want to risk that? Imagine what you've got now and then remove a whole lot of enjoyment. <sighs> for the simple fact of putting a condom on, for heaven's sake. I understand the complacency that goes through the community, but this is not something you can relax about. This is your life you're talking about, your future. It's not worth the risk.